Hi everyone and you are watching Ujwal Discussion and I'm back with another video. I am at your service. You are learning English and I come on my channel with my students. Sometimes I come alone to help you with a lot of ideas and uh, some tips. Sometimes you need in the, in the way of learning English. For that reason today we are back my students and i we are back with a brand new video where we are going to talk a lot about how um, like we as a team can learn spoken english i've got uh, sanjana and shamuta with me i have uh, quite a few questions for them so i would like to ask a uh, first question to sanjana who has been learning english for a while over a year speaking english on camera is far more difficult than speaking English um, without camera, you know. So those who are thinking that, you know, sometimes we make mistakes, oh, we make a lot of uh, silly mistakes, we shouldn't be speaking in English and all that. You try yourself, you will understand that how difficult it is, okay. So um, we, we are doing it because we want to be fearless. We take this step every day even though we don't feel like doing it like sometimes you feel like just speaking randomly about different topics but today shamuta was very upset she's still upset because i have made her uh, sit here so i'm going to ask a uh, few questions to my students shamuta and sanjana sanjana has been on my channel for a couple of occasions all right so sanjana the first question to you is that it is not your first appearance on camera, right, on my channel. It, you, have, you have done so many videos before this. These days when you come and when you face the camera and you start speaking English, how do you feel versus the time when you face the camera for the first time? This question is important to justify my previous uh, description I, 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 I said about um, difficulty that one faces while facing the camera and also it is important at the same time for Shomuta to be able to understand that the kind of situation you had when you faced the camera for the first time and that that's the same thing she's going to face today so uh, yeah I, I just want to know like how or everybody wants to know how's the whole experience so thank you so much sir for asking me so it's such a nice question so as you know sir that uh, uh, when i came here for the first time then um, i would speak very wrong english but uh, when uh, i would face the camera then um, <laughs> the my situation was very terrible and uh, the the situation was very terrible and when i when i was facing the camera then uh, my legs were like sh shivering, I'm less trembling. Uh, just that's why <laughs> I was not able to speak for a, for a long time. That's why I made a lot of mistakes in front of camera while practicing or while performing. So it was my v very difficult situation. But now when I face the camera, because I have been learning English for a while, uh, when I... Um, face the camera now then uh, there I um, feel very little bit comfort because uh, I know that uh, I'm learning I'm a learner so that's why it's my responsibility to speak and no matter what the uh, what the sentences I have I I just need to speak that's why you can uh, you can assume what I'm trying to say about any kind of thing yes so i know that i'm learning and uh, if i do the mistake so it is okay because uh, nowadays everyone uh, is afraid of facing this camera i'm also but i'm just challenging myself that yes uh, no matter what the difficulties you have you have to face the camera so yeah absolutely it's like you are talking to yourself like um, the uh, the the first step to break fear is to face the fear second step is to talk to yourself about the fear mm -hmm. like asking some important questions that why am i scared 
right uh, when you ask some valid questions to yourselves then you get the answers like if you don't ask questions you never get the answers so the first step is asking questions valid questions of course um so now shamota it's a different question for you um i want to know everybody wants to know that you have spent two to three months less than that more than that i don't know i don't remember exactly uh how how has your experience been uh since the very first day okay good morning and uh thank you asking me for this question and uh, when i came here for the first time i uh, i th- uh, think that uh, i can't uh, speak english uh, fluently and uh, i speak or uh, i spoke wrong english and i have no grammar idea but uh, nowadays i feel i can do it easily because uh, when i practice in home alone uh, my self confidence is uh, high mm. because i think that i can do it easily and uh, it's not difficult for me that's why i practice every day in front of mirror when i am in alone and uh, two to three months uh, i realized that uh, uh, when i came here and uh, heard uh, everybody then i realized and i understand everyone's uh, conversation which uh, i can't uh, before mm. yes uh, absolutely uh, thank you so much shamuta for the answer that you have just given and guys those who are watching this video let me tell you that some days you don't feel like speaking some days you ha- don't have any topic or let's say you have been speaking english on the same topic and you are bored uh, one suggestion i always give to my students and that is basics are everything so let's say you talk about some easy topics and you find them boring and and you know uh insipid and dull and monotonous but all you need to understand that all the topics that you have already talked about for many times uh they are your assets you know every time you get some time you can talk about the topics that you have already done for many times so you have some idea to be able to talk about any new topic it might create not might but it creates it it absolutely creates and definitely creates a lot of frustration because you don't know uh, anything about the topic you have no data right so it's important that you study like let's say uh, you want to talk about time management and you have no idea about time management how can you talk about that so before talking about time management it is advisable to watch some videos on time management or read something on time management to be able to speak english about time management fluently and effortlessly now my second question to both of you shomuta and sanjana ss um so the second question is uh, sometimes we lack topics and that becomes our excuse sir i don't know what topic i should be talking about i have a student named rakibul rakibul gives this uh, excuses all the time right so i call him excuse manufacturer right so one day i will show you who rakibul is he's he's a brilliant guy right you will never forget him once you see him anyways i'm just putting this joke aside it was a joke complete joke and rakibul is not going to get offended by whatever i have just said um yes rakibul thank you so much rakibul is laughing right now um while watching this video and uh, i'm i'm so proud of myself that i've been able to bring some smile on his face although i've never seen him crying 
right? I have uh, always seen him making others cry. So anyway, you can apply this kind of sentences, all right? If you want to talk about somebody uh, whom you don't like or like too much. All right, so now topics. Let's talk about topics that you sometimes lack. I lack different topics. But we are like one, two, three, four, five clicks away from various different new topics. Uh, what do I mean by that? It is like if you search new topics on 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 internet, you get uh, a list of new topics. It's not about topics. It's about, as I said earlier, do you know anything about the topic? So now I really want to ask you this question, Sanjana. Please take us to your practice time, or the the how does your practice look like? that's the first question and the follow-up question is that when you lack topics how do you practice do you ever give an excuse like i don't have any topics how can i talk about that so yes uh, i did it's uh, it's a normal thing basically because nowadays what happened everybody wants to know about english but if they start if they start uh, talk about any kind of topic they can't because they don't have any uh, topic to talk about so here the suggestion is that so let's say if you have uh, a book and uh, you really wants to you really want to uh, read those books then please read it chapter to chapter then you can get a lots of idea and uh, if if i tell you that uh, uh, after reading one chapter you can talk about it so it's a uh, basic things and if you don't have any kind of book then uh, you can um, you can talk about your daily life mm. like what's uh, what's going on in your uh, uh, room or what's it, what did you do last night or what did you do last day so it's your job to talk about so uh, and uh, if you have nothing then you have uh, your phone so then uh, you can search anything on google or on youtube there you can get a uh, lots of data mm. and uh, uh, and um, knowing a lot of data you can talk about those kind of things right so it's your job to uh, practice in your own yeah. so it's your job to find such a way to practice so i think uh, yes newspaper is the one thing mm. you can follow mm. like every day you can uh, read newspapers so there you can get a lots of pages and a lots of data about your uh, whole uh, about our whole world mm. so uh, i we can get uh, a lot of idea about what is going on in our in our world then you can talk about it so that's that's the point so yeah like Sanjana, you are right. Like if you really want to practice, there isn't any less supply of the topics. No, no, no. Like you seriously open a and uh, and and sincerely open newspaper, mm. you get various type of topics yeah. every day. Like I recommend Times of India because Times of India has uh, several kinds of topics that that might attract your attention. And and if you really want to practice, like for me, it's always it's always cricket. Like I find cricket related news and I can just talk about that. That I can talk about how India played against Bangladesh in the warm up match and which player played well, which player didn't play well. Uh, what's the percentage for India to win against Pakistan? Like I can talk and I get a lot of uh, sentence ideas while reading uh, any cricket news. Uh, if I have to talk about cricket with anybody or in anywhere, I can do that. Um, Shomuta, uh, since you are a beginner, Shomuta is a beginner. That's why she's feeling nervous. But after six months, I'll be feeling nervous uh, before her. Okay, so that's the reality of my class, right? So Shomuta, uh, since you're a beginner, how do you practice? Nation wants to know. How do you practice English? Uh, every day I practice English uh, first uh, first of all I read newspaper every day 
uh, when i uh, read newspaper then uh, many unknown words i watch uh, from uh, newspaper and i note down my notebook uh, and then i search in google and the definition the meaning i saw and i wrote uh, i write a notebook and uh, many english videos shorts um, podcast you send me a lot of uh, a yes. uh, lot of uh, videos or links uh, i watch and i hear and that uh, and then i practice imitation practice mm. which i said uh, mm. before mm. and i try to uh, hear and speak mm. but it's uh, difficult uh, to hear and speak because when i hear but uh, here i uh, understand easily but mm. i when i speak then i realize uh, no it's not very easy and every day but i can make it easy i can i can make it easy by practice right yes uh, and i uh, speak english in front of the mirror alone when i am uh, in home mm. Uh, it's easy, easier for me. Hmm. That's it. That's it. Uh, so, guys, as you can see, my students are speaking English, and as a trainer, I'm proud of proud of them, because my job is to make uh, my students speak, or whoever comes to me for language training. As a language trainer, I always feel. Uh, this responsibility that yes i have to make somebody speak english either wrong or right that doesn't matter it's about speaking whatever or expressing whatever the no uh, fearlessly right uh, because fear is the thing that uh, actually is the main obstacle uh, when it comes to speaking english so if you have got any value from this uh, video make sure he, you hit the like button you subscribe to this channel for the videos like this and i have made bunch of videos with my students you can get all those videos in the playlist you check in the description you can you can get that and i also give language training online if you are interested you you get the details on your screen uh, call call me up you keep practicing please that, that's important right and i'll see you on the other side in uh, some other videos you take care